Well, hello everyone. My name's Thomas and I'm with the Chapman Loan Program. I wanted to spend just a few minutes with you today to ask you a question and talk about some options. And the question that I have for you is, do you need money to start or grow a business? I'm showing you a checklist here, a resource page, and let me zoom in and we're going to go through it together. Because I believe that, number one, you deserve funding to start or grow a business. And secondly, I believe you have a number of different options. Now, we are 501c3. We did receive a grant. We have one option. And certainly, I'll make sure that you understand how it works. But I don't think it's your only option. I think that you have several ways that you can get the funding that you need to start or grow a business. And we put this comparison sheet together so you can very easily kind of map out or compare different options that you have. But let's go ahead and go through the narrative on the left and then we'll go through the checklist. If at any point you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and type it into the Q&A box. So again, the question is, do you need money to start or grow a business? As I mentioned, this comparison grid provides you a resource to compare the options. Because there is money out there. We, we, we don't want to fall into this mindset, oh, I can't get money. That's false. Or there's no money. No one will loan me money. Or there aren't any grants out there. That's not true. There's lots of money out there. We just need to make sure that you have a plan to qualify for. So we've received a grant to help early stage businesses access a minimum of 250000 to start or to grow. Our approach, of course, is legal, it's compliant, and it's risk-free. So we're going to help individuals create fundable businesses. As I mentioned a moment ago, we realize that you have options. There are many different resources that are available. I know for myself, my first job out of graduate school was with Deloitte & Touche, and I'll just call Deloitte. You could go up here and write in Deloitte and they could help you get qualified. Now they work in a much different format. They're not a nonprofit. They didn't receive a grant. They're gonna just charge you hourly, but there are other resources. So we need to be very clear on that. I just wanna make sure you understand how our grant works and then you can compare other options. So what we call the Business Startup Program is designed to assist in improving the fundability of the business itself. And that's a very important concept. We, we are focused on creating a fundable business so it meets the criteria to get funding. So we are not worried about the personal characteristics. We're not worried about personal qualifications. We're not worried about personal credit. We are focused on the fundability of the business. Again, at the bottom, you can come to the chapmanloanprogram.org and uh, apply for the grant. But let, let's dig in on the checklist because I think these are some important characteristics to compare as you're figuring out how you're going to get funding for your business. So I can speak very wisely of the first column and then you could come in and add what other options that you're considering other resources and then pick the best resource for you. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, when we applied for the grant and received the grant, it was off the premise that you should pay for results, not promises. Now, our grant actually allocates $2,500 to every participant up front, but ignoring that, there is a cost to go through and create a fundable business. The grant will cover half, the participant pays the other half. But of the participants half, what's awesome is we have a new relationship with a buy now, pay later lender that will allow you to finance that at 0%. So grant covers half, participant pays the other half, but they do have the option for buy now, pay later. If you're not familiar with what's called BNPL, you really should be. There are companies like Affirm, A-F-F-I-R-M, their stock went up 400% last year in 2023. You know, So for a, a good year for a normal company, their stock goes up 10%. 
a firm, A-F-F-I-R-M, they went up 400% because there's such a big demand for buy now, pay later, especially when it's available with no interest cost. So what's my point here? That is available through our program. Again, grant will cover half, participant pays the other half. If the participant doesn't want to or can't pay their half, then the nice thing is we have access now to a buy now, pay later lender that has 100% approval. No one has declined. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. But that's the first thing that we believe that you should be looking for when you're figuring out who's going to help you get qualified for funding. Because if you're already qualified for funding, then you just need to be talking to the banker. You don't need a resource. But a lot of small business owners, they need help. Their business isn't fundable yet. That's how we got the grant. That's how we help. But the point is, we're not the only circus in town. You're able to work with others if that's better for you. I want to make sure you know how our program works. And then you can take this comparison sheet and compare it to others. The second element that I think that's important that you're aware of is that we have a qualified team. You know, the, the last thing you want to do is get financial advice from someone that's broke or unsuccessful, right? So all of our advisors are either paralegals or attorneys. All of us either work for the SBA, SBDC, or for a bank. So we bring forth a qualified team. All of our team has gone through background checks, credit checks, and so forth. So I think that is another important consideration as you're deciding who's going to help you raise the capital that you're looking for. Do you have a qualified team? What is their education? Ask them for their transcript because you, you'll have people that have no formal education in business or finance that want to go out and give financial advice. You have people with horrible credit. You have people that are broke that want to go out and give financial advice. Is that who you want to be taking financial advice from? Or do you want a legal or at least a paralegal team that has relevant employment experience? So check here. And then as you're considering other options, find out what the qualifications of the team is that would be helping you. Very important. The third element that's included in the startup program that we feel that's important, so you should look for as you're comparing other options, is are they going to help you build your business credit profile? So we already said we're going to focus on the business, not on personal credit. We're focused on the credit worthy, the fundability of the business, right? Therefore, we need to make sure we have a credit worthy business. How does that happen? Well, first, we need to go get, for instance, our Dunn's number from Dunn and Bradstreet. We need to make sure that our business credit profiles, like with Dunn and Bradstreet and Equifax business and Experian business, make sure that those profiles are, are optimized. And I mean that in a legal way, compliant way, but is everything there that makes your company look as strong as possible? Well, we help everyone through the grant do that. And then we're going to turn around and add trade lines. But we'll get to that here in a few minutes. But building out the credit worthiness of the business is important if we're trying to create a fundable business. Make sense? So that is included for free. Now, there's other resources. Like there's a company called Credit Suite. Excellent company. Recommend them up and down. Credit, C-R-E-D-I-T, Suite, S-U-I-T-E, out of Florida. Great company. Great, great, great. But you would pay probably three to $5,000, and they really do one of these things, not all of these others. Plus, you're going to have to pay up front. So again, are there other resources that you, as a small business, have access to to help you get money to start or grow a business? There absolutely is but I don't think that you're going to find any others that have the value proposition that we have. But that's up, for, up to you to decide, not for me to tell you. Okay, so we agreed we need to pay for results, not promises. We know the grant covers half the participation cost, and then the participant pays the other half. However, the participant can use buy now, pay later. We've covered that. 
We've talked about the importance of, of looking at the team. Just ask them for their graduate school transcript. Start with that. Did they even take any finance and accounting classes? Look at their bio. Have they worked at the SBA? Have they worked at a commercial lender? Do they really have the, the credibility to be giving you advice? That's important. And then, of course, we're on building business credit worthiness. Now, let's continue on to the value proposition, because you see here all of our boxes are checked because this is the value proposition of the startup program. Now, as you're looking at other resources, you're going to check the box. You'll write the name of the resource in, and then you'll check the boxes for those that apply. All right, so let's move on down. Next thing that's included free through the grant is a free commercial address. Now, you may not need this. You may already have a good address, which is fine, so we don't have to use this. But it is very important that before we apply for funding, that we have a unique commercial address. So that is an important element that often isn't met. A residential address doesn't meet the criteria. A post office box doesn't meet the criteria. A shared uh, virtual address doesn't meet the criteria. It needs to be your, your address. And frankly, you need to have a lease. You need to have a lease because the lender now is going to often ask you to prove what you say to be true. So we're going to actually prepare, if you need it, a lease so you actually have the full documentation. What happens if you don't have a business formed yet? then we will help you at no cost file with the Secretary of State. Now, again, if you already have the address, skip it. If you already have a business that's formed in good standing with the Secretary of State, then skip this step. That, that's fine. But if you don't have those, those are obviously very important, and those are free resources. Also, what you'll notice is that we provide geographic access to the Chapman Fund. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but I'll step back and explain it briefly. There are different sources of funding. There's loans, there's grants, there's term loans, there's lines of credit and so forth. Many different options from many different places. Some though have specific geographic requirements. The Chapman Fund, which we're on here, is from a taxing authority. So in that case, what that means is we don't have to go to a bank and meet those higher underwriting criteria. We can go to the taxing authority where there's tax money that's been set aside to start and grow businesses. So uh, that is a perk as well. Let's scroll on down. So what we're doing here is we're going through this resource sheet, helping you determine how are you going to get that money to start or grow a business? Because there's no question that the money's out there, that you can get it, you deserve it, but you have to have a fundable business. And so there's certain elements that are needed. We have received a grant to help you meet those criteria. And we're going through the highlights of what we do and providing you this reference sheet so you can look at other options and make the most educated decision for yourself. All right. Also, what we include at no cost, thus free, is we literally pay you to participate. We literally give you $10,000 of what we call quick cash. The quick cash is real assets that we're transferring over or putting on your balance sheet, and that's important because now that establishes liquidity and collateral because, yes, often collateral is needed for loans, and many times small businesses have what's called a collateral shortfall. So for free, we provide, and that's included. So when you're looking at your other options, you're going to want to ask, hey, are you going to provide me 10000 to participate? Ask them that. I don't think you're going to find any others. Uh, I don't think you're going to find many resources that have many of these check marks, especially this one. All right, two more to go, and then we'll open it up for questions. What we see sometimes is that some small businesses if their business isn't formed yet, or if it's just simply what we call pre-revenue, not, not profitable yet, th they're in a cash crunch, just an urgent cash crunch. So while we're working on building a fundable business, because frankly, this process here that we're talking about, this is a 30 to 60 day process. It's not instant. 
Now, granted, if you come to us and you have a lot of this already, it could be quicker, but normally it's a 30 to 60 day process. So what happens when a client comes in and says, hey, that's fine. I want a fundable business. You know, I, I want to build out my business credit, but that takes some time, it takes 30 to 60 days. What am I going to do in the short term? Well, we do have the opportunity fund. The Opportunity Fund is a very innovative approach at helping small businesses have daily deposits. So every day, we joke and say every day is payday. You know, employees have this mindset, the best day of the month for the average employee is payday. Well, for small business owners, that's the beauty. Every day is payday, right? Today is payday. It will be. Tomorrow will be as well. The Opportunity Fund provides that. So it's daily business deposits. Why is that important? I guess three obvious reasons. Helps us have a stronger bank rating because we don't want a bank rating that shows that we're insolvent. In other words, not much money. We want to have stronger financials and we want to have working capital. So that is a perk and an available resource through the startup program. And as you're looking at other options of how to get funding for your business, you might want to ask them, hey, Will you provide me daily business deposits to help me have these things? Ask them. Maybe they will. I don't know. The last element I wanted to share with you that's important, and I made reference to it earlier. So we're going to help build out the business credit profiles for free. We discussed that. But also for free, we're going to add trade lines. What are trade lines? Well, trade lines are what post on your business credit report could be on your personal report too if you need it. But personal credit, I'm sorry, business credit trade lines are illustrating to the outside world and to lenders, which is where you're going to want to go get your money from, that uh, your business has had access to credit and managed it wisely. So we're going to literally add for free trade lines, real primary trade lines that you can use. So you have a stronger business credit profile, whether it be Dun & Bradstreet, Experian, Equifax, or what have you. So again, our resource page is chapmanloanprogram.org. I'd like to open it up for questions, comments, concerns that any of you have as you're considering how you're going to get money to start or grow a business. Because I think at this point, you probably have now a pretty good overview of how the startup program works. Now, again, you can go to our resource site and there's proposals and press releases and training videos, but this is a good overview. So let, let's get to the questions that any of you have. All right, Aziz is asking about the, um, the Opportunity Fund. And, and so, uh, if, if this is open only to U.S. or international participants. So our program is available to anyone. There's no personal credit scores required, no social security number required. Uh, we will end up needing a business in the United States, but if you don't have that, remember, uh, we'll help form that. But there are no geographic restrictions. Furthermore, Aziz is asking about uh, how to be a distribution partner. And Aziz, if you go to chapmanloanprogram.org, click on that, grant resources, the very bottom grant resources, what you need to fill out, Aziz. I, I don't think you've done that. Thank you. All right, Ashley's talking about uh, financing for the buy now, pay later. So the buy now, pay later is a relatively new addition, and we're working with what we call the sweet pay program. And so um, that originally came out, and when it originally came out, it was at 9.9% interest, which isn't so bad, but we generated so much volume, we were able to go back and renegotiate, and now we have 0% interest which is stated here. We couldn't have said this a couple of weeks ago because that wouldn't have been true, but it is now. So anyone that was on the old platform, we've terminated that 9.9. .9, so we'll be getting them set up under 0% because we don't want them to pay interest expense. And then going forward, everyone will have access to the 0%. Thank you, Ashley, for that question. 
Who else has questions? If, if you're looking for funding to start or grow a business, is this comparison sheet helpful? Or are, are these the elements that you're currently looking for? Or is there something that, that I'm missing? So as you're out trying to decide who's going to help you become fundable, did, did we address the right criteria? Or is there something missing? All right, Doug asked about time frame, and that's 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 a fair point. So we don't put time frame on the sheet, as I dis discussed. It's thirty to sixty days, but that could be shorter, Doug, based upon what the client brings to the table already. So, for instance, if they already have their address and the business entity, that makes it quicker. If they already have strong business credit profiles, that makes it quicker. If they already have trade lines, that makes it quicker, right? So. 30 to 60 days is the norm, but it could be quicker. And, and I don't know, Doug, that you're going to find other people that can do it any quicker because the, the main delay time-wise is building out the business credit profile. And, and, and I, don't, I don't think regardless of who you're thinking of working with that that can happen quicker. I, I think it's it's still 30 to 60 days. All right, who else has questions on how to get money to start or grow a business? Because we understand the basics, right? It's not too good to be true. If you want funding for your business, your business must be fundable. And there's certain elements that are needed, right? Really doesn't matter what you think. Really doesn't matter what I think. It's what the lenders think. So we know what those things are. So when we applied for the grant and launched the startup program, frankly, that's what we built in because we know things like a commercial address is needed. So we provide that for free if you need it. If you don't need it, skip it. We know that we need to have a business formed, of course, and an EIN number and a bank account open. So if you have those, great, skip it. Otherwise, we'll help you with that. We know that we need to have a strong business credit profile. Just makes sense. A lot of people don't. So we help both with building out the profiles and adding trade lines for free. We know that we need to have strong financials. So that's what we do. So this outlines, again, one option. I think you're smart. I think you're motivated. And I think you have options. And so that's why I'm encouraging you, you know, consider what other options you have to be able to qualify for the funding that you need to start or grow a business. Does anyone have questions on what we do how it works. Larry's asking if he could have an editable version. Larry's one of our distribution partners. Absolutely, yeah. So just reach out to us, Larry, and we can provide you an editable version of this. So when you're out educating at libraries, churches, chambers, online, in person, wherever you're educating Larry, that you'll be able to edit the contact information because as a distribution partner, Larry, you'll want those folks to, to contact you you'll be paid $1,250 for each person that you educate, Larry, that enrolls. All right, Eric's got a great question. So the program itself is $5,000. The grant covers half. We've, we've covered that, I think, before. Maybe I wasn't explicit enough. So the participant pays the other half, which is $2,500. If the participant, and so the, the grant's essentially doing a match. It, it's a dollar for dollar match is what it is. So the maximum that the grant could allocate is the 2,500 because the participant pays the 2,500. If the participant doesn't have their half or doesn't want to use their money, then instead of pulling from the grant, we, we step away from the grant allocation forfeit the grant allocation, and then we can set it up under the buy now, pay later. But the buy now, pay later is really strong for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's a new positive trade line, which is good, and it's at 0% interest. Everyone qualifies as well. There, there's no minimum credit scores for the buy now, pay later. So we, we forego the grant allocation, which is what Eric's question is, but it's great for folks that either don't have the liquidity or just just want to use other people's money, I guess. And I don't mean that negatively. 
Okay, so who else has questions on the flyer on this comparison sheet? Because for those of you who are distribution partners, what a better way to go out than go out with a different mindset. When you're talking to prospects, recognize they're probably smarter than you are. They're probably more successful than you and I are. And that's okay. We can still provide value to them. And so we say, hey, how are you going to get the money for your business? Because you've got options. You definitely have options. And if you need our assistance or you're, you're looking for assistance, here's how our resource would work. But encourage them to explore others. We want every client to be successful. And if they, if they would rather go to Goldman Sachs or Deloitte or BlackRock to get help in getting their funding, then that may be best for them or Credit Suite, as we talked about earlier. But I think if you will take the time to educate them on the checklist here so they understand the value proposition that the grant provides, I think many of them would say, wow, this is really a, a good deal. And, and really, people are so scared of being scammed. People are so scared of being taken advantage of. They don't want the risk. They want the reward. They want the results. They want the help. But people, many people are scared to death of getting taken advantage of. So they don't have to worry about that through our model, do they? Because number one, our model is credible. Number two, our model is in writing. Number three, they're paying for results, not promises. All right, so we got a question, another question from Larry. So Larry, thank you again for joining us. Larry's asking, what are the back-end costs to the client? Uh, that is up to the distribution partner that's working with the client, Larry. So each distribution partner that we work with, we call them branch offices, they get to decide what the back end cost is. So I, I don't know the answer to that because I don't determine that. You would have to go to each of our hundreds of distribution partners and ask. So that, that varies based upon whom you're working with. All right. So who else has questions, comments, concerns on this new resource sheet. Sally is asking, uh, how does she get a copy of it? Yep, just reach out to us and let us know that you need an editable version. This document was developed in Microsoft Word, so it's real easy to edit, and you would just put your information on it so the prospects are contacting you, Sally, instead of us. All right, any other questions, comments? All right, well, Ken's got a question regarding um, upfront funding. So Ken's question, if I paraphrase, is client enrolls, they understand that it's 30 to 60 days to build out a fundable business. So we're all on the same page there, but they need funding upfront or they need funding quicker. So Ken's asking, what can we do to help? Well, a couple options, Ken. Uh, we talked about the opportunity fund. So that's one option. Another option is they can go to the chapmanloanprogram.org and there is a link to get financing offers. So they would fill that out, even though we've not completed this process yet, but we could go ahead and get them offers, no hard inquiries that they could pick from, and they could pick one or more offers and get funding in, in their pocket now while we're building this out. Now, how much funding will they qualify for now? I don't know. We'll have to fill out the app and see what the lenders say. We have about 40, 40, about 40 different lenders that um, have kind of bought into this model that are passionate about helping entrepreneurs, early stage entrepreneurs, and with no commitment that uh, the, the participants don't have to accept the offers. And again, no hard inquiries can get offers. Normally, it won't be more than 50 or 75,000. We call that first tranche financing, but could be more, could be less. It just depends upon the individual. But to get to Ken's point, yeah, some people need funding even before they have a fundable business, which is really the goal here. So we have two resources. The opportunity fund is one, and then also we can help them get first tranche financing even before we've completed and built out the fundable business, which is normally 30 to 60 days. Any other questions, Common, uh, Thomas, a uh, different Thomas. Welcome, Thomas. To the call. So Thomas is asking, what if they have some of this? Well, 
I, I meant to clarify that earlier, but that's a good question to close on. So whatever the client brings to the table only makes it better. It, it just makes it quicker. So let's say that they already have a good address. Well, great. We'll skip this. Or they already have a business formed. I think I did mention that. We'll skip it. If they already have trade lines, we'll skip it. So it, it's okay. That, that It's not like all or nothing. Just these are the, the, the relevant bullets, the relevant components that we know that takes to create a fundable business. But Thomas, if a client's bringing some of that, great. No harm, no foul. The process is the same. We'll just be able to skip steps. We'll be able to move more quickly. All right. Well, we get together most weekday mornings, 8 o'clock Central. We'll see you back tomorrow morning. If you need us between now and then, please visit our site on chapmanloanprogram.org. You'll find our phone number, answered live Mondays through Fridays. You'll find our email address. And of course, again, we'll be back tomorrow morning. Thanks, everyone. See you soon. Bye.